All right, so I guess we'll get started. Um, today we're going to do networking type stuff, like how to configure your network cards, um, uh, programs that help you configure network cards. Um, the, probably one of the most useful programs in Linux and Unix in general is SSH. Um, so we'll go over like different things that SSH can do for you. Um, and so we'll use v, uh, the VMs as our local host and we're going to use a server kindly provided by Andy as a remote host so we, so we can go back and forth and play around with what SSH can do. Um, and then we're going to talk about some other commands that uh, are good for you know, remote files like FTP, SCP, it's just like copy but over SSH and stuff like that. Um, OK, so does everybody have their VM running? Don't have your VM running. Just try to tag along, but um, okay. So um, in Linux, uh, your network interface is a device, and it's usually called ETH0 uh, or WLAN0. Um, so we can do use the IP command space L to see the interfaces that are currently on our computer. Everybody's basically should be the same. Um, LO is the loopback device. It's a special address and device that always refers to yourself. Okay? Uh, ETH0 is usually a physical Ethernet plug where you plug in a wire. And then um, if we look like on my laptop, I have WLAN0. So usually um, wireless devices are WLAN0. Um, if you do IPA, you get a list of addresses that are attached to your device. Um, so, for example, the VM is using 10.0.2.15. Okay? Um, your home networks might be 10.0 10 addresses are more likely 192.168.1. Whatever. It's probably going to sound familiar to you. Okay? Um, so, we're going to first. You won't normally manually add addresses to a device. You're going to do it through a config file, so it happens every time you, you boot the computer. But we're going to play around with adding them manually. So first, we need to create kind of a virtual device so we don't mess around with the actual device. So basically, so why would you need to do this? Add like on your sub address on that one. So if you have a server running, a home server, for example, you might have. Um, you know, one interface that adds to, goes into your home network, and one interface that goes out to the internet. But just to get you on the internet, you have to at least configure one device with one IP address so you can start talking. And why do you normally not have to deal with this? Well, except we have, you know, normally you're going to add these things to a config file, but the config file is basically going to do what we're doing manually. Right. So you want to understand what the config file is doing. And then also, there's this nice little GUI called Network Manager which is where, what you're going to use most of the time for wireless type stuff. But we'll, we'll go over that. Yeah. Why do you use IP instead of like IF config? So we were just talking about this. IF config is part of this uh, package called NetTools. Mm -hmm. And it hasn't seen an update in about 10 years. IP is um, from a suite of tools called IP Route 2. Um, they basically do the same thing, but IP is actively developed. And um, I see a lot of scripts and distributions being converted from I have config to IP router too. So if you want to kind of plan for the future, uh, this is the command that you want to use. Uh, if you want to know like the I, I have config equivalent, we can try to work that out. But I think like I always use IP, so probably you, know, you should use it. I always use I have config, but Matt's right. I have config is going out of style and IP is coming into style. They largely serve the same purpose. So just don't worry too much about this command, but just type what I type to get. Um, uh, okay, to get a, a device. So first thing you'll see is operation not permitted, because you need to run this as root. So I want to give you a nice pro tip of the day. Sudo exclamation point exclamation point will rerun your previous command as sudo. Okay. As root. As root, yeah. And then your username and password on the VM or user user. So now, 
that should probably go up a little bit. So now we see that we have a link called tongue zero. And it's just like E0 or WLAN zero. Okay? Any questions? Okay. Um, one thing you'll notice though is that Tom Zero does not currently have an IP address. So by default, an uh, interface doesn't have an IP address. So now we're going to add one. And this is basically what, whatever, whatever way you configure your network, whether it be a config file or a network manager, this is basically what it's running in the background. So to add an IP address, and IP A, and What's A it? actually stands right. What's the password? Mean? User. They've been asking for the password user. Did you already do something in sudo? <coughs> so like sudo will remember that you ran sudo for that 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, but I did a sudo before. Change the name. Yeah. So oh, okay, you know the sudo authentication will reset every. It's like 15 minutes by default. Okay. So right now I'm into the. Or do I have to do it again? Because it's not asking me to do it. So if you type IP space A to see if you see the answer there. So do all the first one. So I can see it. Yeah, I see some You see that it doesn't, you know, this is the IP address mm -hmm. that E0 has. Mm -hmm. This is the IP address that, that uh, localhost has. Mm -hmm. uh, and we see that right now, Tom0 doesn't have an IP address. Okay? So, to add an IP address, the syntax, which you can see in the man page if you, uh, you know, forget, mm -hmm. um, is IPA, and then the address you want to add. So, just pick some random number 10.0.0. something random and then slash 24 okay the slash is the network mask Cider. what site yeah it's the sun um, you know I don't, I don't think we want to go into like basic networking but just mm -hmm. it, it means that um, this is the network portion of your address and that this is the host portion of your address okay And I forgot something, sorry. So now you should see that your VM on ton zero. Whoa. you run that command, which is down at the bottom now, sorry, um, you should see that you have the address that you added. They say that uh, this command is a known try type e ADDR help. Uh, you type it just like this? Yes. And it says what? The uh, command is unknown. IP is unknown? Command is unknown. Mine is and finite address is expected rather than the D. Is this not installed on the CSVM? Is IP not? So try doing like a sudo. I mean, you're sitting on the CSVM, aren't you? Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think I ever installed this manual. I still this. Yeah, sudo app can't install IP route? Um, it should already be on there. We'll install it if it's not on there. This command so that if it says IP command not bound, then but mine says uh, an inet address is expected rather than mm -hmm. by the mm -hmm. So, did, did you type it exactly like this? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, so the, the, this command has a grammar that's defined in the man page, and sometimes the order matters. That's not the issue. That, uh, you keep doing that caret C, what, what is that? So control C, just usually, you know, it's on Windows too, usually it's like, and, you know, kill the program. Oh, okay. So it'll also just, um, um, you know, whatever I type down the line, it'll 
give me a new line without actually running the command. Ah, I see. All right. So that's why. That doesn't have anything to do with the name. In fact, you can turn off the visual terrace. So yeah. OK, all right. I don't remember how that's. Matt, can you scroll up again? Or just this one? Can you turn all windows? You're already connected to the network. Yeah, this is how it's if you, if you, um, so we, for example, started up uh, an uh, installation CD, uh, and it did, you didn't have network access, you would want to add an address. Okay, so that's a good use case for for what we just did. And usually on your home network, it's going to be you're going to want to add like 192.168.1.105 or something like that, and then you should be able to talk to your router. So I got no response to that command. It shouldn't print out. It shouldn't pr didn't print out anything. And then, and then if you type IP A, you should see an address mm -hmm. under time zero. Ah, okay. So then you're trying to install actual network device to actually Yeah, so that is pretty short. So you can set a time zero. Yeah, so normally it'll be E0, WLAN0, E1, like that. Time is a special kind of virtual device. I'm reaching it up at here too. And first, we need to use Sulu as an option. So we can use Sulu as an option. So we have to use Sulu. Yes, you have to use sudo for this command because it's doing something, you know, a system administrator command. The regular user can't play around with IP addresses for security reasons. Okay. So, so you could use the same command with ETH0, though, to like, if you were, normally, if you just needed to get a static IP or something. Yeah, you would just replace uh, ton0 with ETH0 right. up here, and that's normally what you would do. So we're mainly using the ton device just as a demonstration. Don't read too much into what that is. Yeah. Okay. So now actually you know, day to day use of your network, you don't want to have to type that in. You want some kind of config file. Um, in Ubuntu and Debian and a lot of distributions, this is done in a file called Etsy network uh, interfaces. Um, and right now you can see that only the loopback interface is connected. Um, I'll show you Andy's file. Um, you're not going to have this on your computer, but it's an example of one that is actually used. Can you, what is the name of the interface again? Which? Uh, the you file where the, the word cat, where the word catting right now? Uh, it's, so on the VM, uh -huh. Etsy network interfaces. Okay. Uh, but there's not much in there. Because something else is used, but on the desktop, probably we use a file like Andy's interfaces file, which looks like this. And you can see you see a lot of things like you typed in the command, and basically it was just a, a parser that parses this file and you know runs the IP command with, with these things. Um, so if you're looking to configure your network and you don't know how, search for you know network slash interfaces Ubuntu or something like that, and it'll tell you exactly what what um, directives you need. Um, but the big ones are the address, the net mask, and the gateway, and then sometimes the DNS. You type this going into the desk? The this is a file, a cat the file, like, like we did uh, last week. So I just okay. cat it in. This is Andy's file, so it's not on your DM. I'm curious when I'm doing it, I only get a couple little, uh, I, yeah, I don't so get anything big like that. On the VM, it's oh, just this. Okay. All right. okay. Now, <coughs> most of us were on laptops, and you're probably going to be using something like Network Manager, which just comes by default on pretty much every distribution. On Ubuntu, that's this little, um, I don't know, up arrow, down arrow thing. Um, and you can go to Edit Connections, Add Wireless Connections. It'll, um, I don't think the VM will see Wireless Connections, but on my Network Manager, 
this is where I can see things like a big wireless connection here, and, you know, um, you know, guest guest type connections. Um, Network Manager also allows you to do VPN. Uh, most, you know, most of your offices, if you're working, probably use Cisco VPN. So you need to install a um, a plugin for Network Manager. Um, and do you know what that's I called? Just installed the other day. I don't remember what the. So it's VPNC is the name of the program. So Network Manager dash VPNC, probably dash GNOME. You know, um, there'll be a package that you need to install on your laptop if you want to start VPNing into to work. Okay.